Okay, so we should be live. Nice. Successfully got live despite the storm being around. That's always good. Post on obligatory social media. Boom. Make sure everything is working. Okay, let's go. So if you remember last time, we ended up in Lurian Village, and then just basically stopped the stream before exploring, but then inadvertently explored the village anyway because we couldn't find the, uh, the tower. <laughs> but now... We'll actually explore it the full way. Even though I guess it's not quite waking hours for them yet. We can still make some ground. Rain? Seriously? That seems like an adequate response. I don't really think there's too much to do here. But I'll look around. Are you awake? I guess we'll search for the... I, I know there's a there's a really stupid Korok up near here. Where you're supposed to like slam dunk the rock. Up top here. Pretty sure that's the case. Let me just check. Place your bets. No. I'm not betting, man. Did you see that jump? That jump was crazy. I just not want to go the full distance, though. Yes, okay, so... We're supposed to get a rock up here. But the only way you can really do it is by using stasis and prey. So I guess we'll do that. Hope it works. <laughs> this is what the boomerang is for, after all. Wow, I can't even hit it. I guess I have to pick up the rock first. Something like that. Something like that. Hey. Right. I'll only try this once. The rock is, is too powerful. I can't... Okay. Wow. That's too powerful. We'll try it a second time since we didn't even move. No, I'll get back on the fence, you silly goose. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, that'll work. Now we can do it. This is literally just going to go up, huh? Is there any way I can angle this? I guess with the bomb. Nah. Alright, that's it. The sun's back. People should be waking up. We're all good. It's definitely one of the hardest to do in the game, I'd say. <laughs> I haven't done all of them, but I, I've yet to find one that's quite as finicky as that. The other way you could maybe do it is if you, like, brought a rock all the way to the top of the cliff and then dropped it down. I feel like that would take a while, though. Longer than I'm willing to invest. What is this? Is this like a flower? Something like that. I am pretty certain there is not much else to do. So I'll get this picture and get out of here. Oh, I know where that is. That's Hyrule Castle. <laughs> we won't be getting that one for a while.
pretty sure there is a shrine over here. To the left. That would take a lot of ice making to get there. I don't think you need wings. I think you need to cryostasis and walk your way over, which takes a long time. I don't see the spot yet. I think it's around the bend here. Oh, hello. Here's some bombs. Enough about the gameplay. As far as I guess we've we've had like a stream this oh my god. We've had a, a stream a few days ago with this. So not much has happened since then. I'm working with uh, at work, I guess we're working with Curtis Institute music. I'm doing some concert material for them, which is somewhat interesting, except it's mostly opera and I'm not a huge fan of opera. I have to uh, listen to the recordings and divide them into their pieces, which uh, is easy for opera because it's only really one piece with multiple acts, but uh, not as interesting. For the other stuff, it's like uh, it's like discs recorded to dats, which is kind of, I guess, not useful. For the sake of listening, okay. I think you figured it out. You figured it out. Okay. Leave me and my friend alone. Uh, yeah, I guess so. But yeah, it's like um, it's like disc recordings, groove media recorded to death, it's, and uh. It's useful for the sake of archival purposes, but as far as like the recordings go, they're pretty trash. <laughs> so, you kind of gotta gotta put on your librarian spirit. Be like, it's for history. We're preserving history, which I can do. But if I were like an audiophile or something like that, I'd be like, Ooh, what is this? <laughs> There's one of the stones that we need for this quest. I think they only show up at night. One guy is already here. Okay, I was like, do I have to activate him? I don't think so. get that one since we're here it's literally right over here the other ones are a little bit more of a wander I'm pretty sure one's on that little cusp of land out there the other one I can't quite remember where that is but we will get this one now okay if I see any other ones we'll take their picture like good people. Ugh. Axel went all the way with stamina. It's okay. We got it.
Okay. I think we'll pass on that one for now. As far as the quest, since it is a bit fetch questy. I don't have too much fun with that stuff, but... Oh, no. Nice. Um, let's try and get one of these areas. I kind of want to just go to the Rito area now, since this is my favorite area. So let's take Great Plateau and figure out how we're going to get there. Maybe even have Satori be available for visiting. Satori is definitely the reason why I like the area the most, since um, there's really nothing quite like them in the game. But yeah, as far as the work goes, it has just been digital analog tape in jest, and we've been doing concert recordings for Curtis and making sure that they can get what they want. They want all these crazy demands of like having the recordings divided into their pieces and whatnot. But uh, it's not too hard. Can do it in time. Looks like Satori is not around right now. So we want to find the next tower we want to go to from here, which should be right there. So we go towards red, make our way as best we can. There's another one up there. I'm pretty sure that's Gerudo area. I want to do Gerudo last still, because there's some cold environments in there. This one's showing the shrine quest right now. There we go. I want main quest. Give me that one. Oh, Magnesis. Haven't even gotten this one yet. the beam is in there. Is this just to like teach you you can magnet? Be like, hey, there's stuff you can take here. And then they're like, oh my god, I can take the chest too. And then they take the chest and they're happy. That's how I envisioned the designer wanted that to be seen. They put the beam there specifically so that you can get the chests and be happy. Speaking of getting things and being happy, to get this butterfly. Like a champ. No, 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 butterfly, no. Oh. Okay, I guess we'll just walk our way down. I don't think we want to go for that one, because I'm pretty sure that one's surrounded by guardians. So we're just going to make our way on down. Or as the kids say, making their way downtown. <laughs> Haven't heard that song in a long time. It's hard to imagine that I am now 26 years old. I don't feel 26. I feel basically like I did in college. I'm sure that'll change though. With age, I'll be like, Ugh, I'm an old man now because I can't move. <laughs> As you do. No, we actually did the opposite of what I wanted. Guess we'll have to go around the long way. Guess we're just gonna somehow. Oh! It's someone under stress. We must save them. Yeah, but it's super scary, dude. Get the heck away from my friend. Okay, I, I was wondering if he 
didn't know how to get to Laren Village. I was like, I know where Laren Village is. I was just there. <laughs> but, nah. We're good. Do you want to kill all these enemies for fun? Kind of still need the shield. How much arrows we got? 32. Hmm. They aren't that hard. It's probably like one headshot per. Just kind of depends on whether or not there's some dudes up on top of this ladder, I guess. We can make our way down the long way. Shrine nearby. I guess we'll want there to be able to make sure we can get back. Can recover stamina on a ladder, we're fine. Okay, there's our shrine. Ah, I see. Well, we can do that. That is okay. Yep. Uh, looks like we might have to use a fire arrow. I mean, we don't have to, but... It's maybe a good idea. Let's just go from top down. If we go from top down, we're less likely to get ambushed. Well, it looks like it's gonna happen anyways. Yeah, it's gonna happen anyways. Fine. Come at me. It's supposed to actually fight me. Here we go. Oh, the shield. I want the shield. I need a good shield. Thank you. Sword is definitely helping out right now. <laughs> Stop alerting them. This sword is definitely nice in this. <laughs> Having so much power against these guys. I think they have a hundred health? Hello, sir. There we go. Now I have some place to run back to, if need be, once we go over to this area, since I'm pretty sure there are guardians around here. I think we need some arrows. Yeah, see. Just cost a little bit of durability. There's our shrine. Well, more people under attack. Okay. I'll take you down. Keep distracting him. Keep it up. Oh, nice. It's brought swords damage. That's okay. I like the shield. Freaking solid. I think they could have handled it. Let's wait for him to get here, and there we go. Treasure hunters. Guardians exist. Family. They don't look like family. Look like completely different people. I guess family can look pretty different. They have like a very distant gene. Making you look way different from your brother or sister. Something like that. I don't know. I look basically like my brother. <laughs> so I can't really say that's the same for me. Okay.
Oh, for those of you looking at the VOD and wondering why it's saying feet torrential downpour outside, it's a lot of rain. A whole lot of rain. So, uh, if you hear any thunder and lightning in rainfall, that is why. Neat. More balls. Is there anything on the other side? No. There's only death. Huh. I feel like this could be easier. There we go. excuse to use our sword anyways. <laughs> okay. Okay. Two guardian swords. May as well just replace this and the other guy. Yeah. We don't need the crit thing now it's been used that much. Wow, that is a blade. Holy crap. 50 damage? Really? What do I even get rid of for that? <laughs> Guess the boomerang. I did use it a bit. Heck yeah. What I use as my base weapon then? I guess this. Not that. I guess one of the, yeah, one of the blades. Also, I should switch back into having the full Zorg here again, just to have the bonus if I need to. We do not want that. Right. Go get him. Get him, Boulder. There you go. Probably didn't even need to do that. Could have just used stasis and pushed it open, but... Takes a bit less time, I guess. Knight's Broadsword 26. That's what we just had, huh? I think we're okay. Having the tech against aliens is fine. Aliens being the guardians, of course. Nope. Hey, stop that. <laughs> Spear just. Decided to land directly upward. It's no loss. I guess we can trade the trade the sword now. These spears are not worth taking. It was over here, right? Where was that? Oh, here it is. Okay. Thank you. So I'm pretty sure I have their pictures already, but let's just check. Yeah, we got it. Okay. Did we get the chest? I think it just registers as the same chest. Yeah, we're fine. Barrel? <laughs> Double. Do I have the spear? Okay. Keep going. What's in these barrels? This is barrel four. Moving this? Ah, meant to stasis it. That's okay. We got what we need. That seems pretty interesting. Looks like we use this little mechanism up here to move that. What do we have here? Core, very nice. This will be useful later. For now, we got the hammer. 
Oh, it's motion controls. Yeesh. That's way. Whiff. Okay, second one. Third one? Hold on, let me reset this. Feels weird. There we go. Good all motion controls. They never do feel good. Unless it's like really one to one. I don't like that. But as long as it's not shoehorned in like all the time, it's fine, I guess. So we've got a button, we got a thing. This will move that. Okay. Use the arrow to fire that, burn that, goes down. Then we can stasis this? No. I'm not quite sure how this is supposed to go down. I guess it's supposed to it's supposed to fly onto it after this. And then we stasis that before it flies on. That makes sense. Okay. Really? I feel cheating. Come on. Burn, baby, burn. There we go. There yeah, we need to catapult it, so. Gonna need a little bit of range here. Guess we have to do this first. Tries. There we go. That was a joke. Need some weapon that I can not worry about durability for. Guess this is it. Let's not kill our torch. It should be enough. There we go. Okay. Can get a new torch later. Okay. I know where to, like, kind of farm those. There's a spot on the Story Mountain that spawns them every time the, uh, the moon resets them. It's a guaranteed diamond every time. Okay. Well, that appears to be it. There's nothing else here. Pretty long. Probably one of the longest shrines we've done. Just make sure that you can hear the computer. It's getting a little bit of a loud fan right now. Red three? Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. So we have options. I can get the tower for Hyrule Field. It's really treacherous though. <laughs> kind of requires that you are able to kill the surrounding guardians which we really can't do also now there's rain so we can't even do that also now there's lightning apparently is our gear okay huh 
Okay, we're fine. Although I think I'd rather have the wood sword. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm like a hundred hundred percent certain that if we attempt that, we're just gonna get attacked by that guardian. So we're gonna pass on that for now. Go towards the red one. Unless there's like a high ground spot that makes sense. But I'm pretty sure you get beaconed down by the surrounding uh, head-only guardians that are near there. Here's a... Looks like a Korok. Yep. Don't shoot me in a cutscene. He shot me in a cutscene. The jerk. Don't talk to me or my son ever again. Okay. Looks like that's part of... It's actually part of Hyrule. Okay. I don't need to go there yet, but I was expecting it to be kind of along the way. That area is pretty treacherous. Don't think we want that yet. Oh, there's a shooting star. Yeesh. Okay, hold on. That is super valuable. We might detour for that. It's along the way anyway. We're doing it. I think we can get there. Looks like the the swim is not particularly far. Might even be able to skip it off of this little mound here. Maybe. Yeah, mostly skip it. And then off of this spot I can get the star before the sun comes up. Maybe. It's a big maybe. They're pretty valuable, so I don't want to pass them up while I can get them as random drops. You can farm them uh, by killing some enemies, but that requires a little bit of RNG. <laughs> I'd rather just get it now before it's too late. Not that we'll really even need them to craft some of our gear. Most of that stuff is like real late game. Like post game of post game kind of stuff. Okay, that is at a different spot than I thought it was. It's actually in the forest. I know there's a memory here. I think we can get there in time. Just keep running. If you don't get there by a certain point, don't know exactly what timing, I assume like when day starts, they disappear. So, that's why we're in such a hurry to get here over everything else. Still here. Oh, what the heck? Okay, it looked, it looked a little bit crazier in that particle effect for some reason. We're getting there. Got him. Those are hard.
hard to find. But we got it. Okay, now we don't need this one. Apparently right near Satori. I don't think he's here. We've got the shrine that's on Satori. I do believe there is a shrine in this spot. We're currently going the wrong way. Guess we got pretty sidetracked by that star fragment. <laughs> Let's see here. So Story Mountains to our left. He isn't active right now. The shrine, or not the shrine, the tower. Right behind it. So I might as well go up through it. There is a shrine. It's, I think it's like around this spot up above us. And there's no enemies in this spot in daytime. It's only skeletons. Just a nice walk through the pocket. I can also show you the guaranteed diamond spot that is here since we'll probably be able to get there in time. There is one of the rocks here on top of the mountain that always spawns a diamond once you pick it up. I believe it is to the left of this, off of one of these spots. If I can get the map, I'll be able to find it. Let's see if I can find the shrine first. So you can have like a point of reference. Surprised we haven't gotten the shrine detector to go off yet. It's like near uh near one of the skeleton. So it's like it's like a rock like this. And it'll be off the side of a cliff somewhere. One of the kind of brownish ones. Looks kinda like this. Except it just goes straight off into the distance. Oh, there's the shrine. Okay. Picking up that rock will always give you a diamond, no matter what. I've done it and I've farmed it many times. There we go. Looks like we're here. I don't think it's this one. Looks kind of like it, but... No, no. It's not. Other side of this rock. I don't think this shrine was so close to where Satori spawns. Because the crows are the marker for Satori, right? He's near that, like, uh... Oh, hello. He's near the, uh... The blossoms at the top. Satori, that is. This looks about right for the shrine. Did we pass it? There we go, okay. So now I have the shrine to reference. That should add it to the map. I don't want to go in it just yet. I want to see if I can figure out where the rock is that I'm talking about before I go into the shrine. Uh, that's pretty hard. I feel like it's like about here. doesn't seem right. Maybe I'll be able to see it from like the top here. It's a cliff like this one. Leads off into the sign. I don't see the rock I'm talking about. There's a core rock. We'll probably have to get the full map before I can really figure out where the heck that is. I want to go into my other file and be like, oh, that's where it is, because, you know, that's kind of cheating. But. Yeah, I can't see. Okay, let's get this shrine. So you have to wait a warp back. And then. 
we will go to the tower. Off the tower, we will get the map. Off the map, we will get the spot. And off the spot, we will get the diamond. That sounds like a plan. Oh, swing. This one is pretty hard. <laughs> the momentum never really made sense to me. Outside the, oh God. Outside the first one of these, I remember falling into a pit many times with this. Can you warp to this anyway? Because this is going to take me like a really long time to do. Oh, sick, you can't. Okay, we're not doing this right now. <laughs> that takes way too long. Okay. So let's go to the tower. Tower is where the red beacon is right now. We're not too far. And I'm thinking what we might do to circumvent all of the enemies around it is we might catapult, our, catapult ourselves off of a stasis tree. I've seen some people do it on YouTube videos before. But I've never actually tried it myself, and this is definitely one of the towers that feels like it applies to the most. Oh, here's where Centauri would be. Say hello to a blank space. I almost got the star spot right. Just a little off. There we go. So that's the one for the pyro. There we are. Okay. There's no real trees near this spot, huh? I wouldn't really be able to easily catapult myself unless it were from exactly here. You can't use that tree. So it might be only possible off of something like this. Can we interact with these trees? Looks like you can. Looks like an interactable tree. All right. So we want to get stasis ready. So I can quickly move to it. And we want to angle it so that we go this way. Towards the red. Right here. Okay, yeah, we can cut it. The reaction from this is going to be pretty fast. I might mess it up. It didn't even let me do it quick enough. I don't think they patched it out. Can we move it to a way where we can, like, climb onto it? Oh, you know what? Well, no. If we, the, the way this is supposed to work, like, you could stand on it and move it, but then the, the log just goes away. If you're in the animation to where you can grab onto it, though, then you can do it. I don't think there's a way where we can pull this to the point where I could grab onto it, like, maybe off the side? Oh, this is kind of mangly. Yeah. Let's just try the other tree, and if that doesn't work, we'll just walk. And do it the, the normal person way. Okay, move myself up this way. Yeah, I'm, I'm... Okay, you can do it. You can do it. I, I had to, like, hard press it really fast. Maybe if we, like, pre... Pre-hit the button. So, that, like, it pre-cues it. No, it doesn't work. You have to you have to nail the button as fast as possible in order to actually get this to happen. Okay. No, I kind of just really want to do it. <laughs> okay. Ah, oh, I just barely missed. There's actually quite a few trees here too. We have a lot of shots at this. Hey, okay. Can I grab it? Oh, it's just in the downward pose. I'm so close. <laughs> it's like barely touching the ground. If it lands upright, it could have maybe got it, but that's not gonna happen. All right, one more. Where's this? Why is this rock here? Why is this rock here? Big question. Ah, oh, I see. Okay. I might get that if this doesn't work. Get the right one. 
Oh, <laughs> accidentally made wood. This way. You know what? Maybe we could do it on a boulder. <laughs> this might go horribly wrong, but... It might work. Oh yeah, this will work. No, it won't. Normally when you would do that, you would attach to it at the very end. But that's that's how it did work in the past. They did just add a patch to the game. I hope they didn't take it out. Anyway. Let's just go there. <laughs> it used to work. Definitely used to work. Maybe not of boulders. Maybe only of trees. But that's the kind of setup you need. Where you're grabbing onto something. You stasis it and get it to move. And then you would stay attached to it all the way over. Oh my god, that's a lot of guys. It's like 100... 400, 400, 500 HP. Yeah, I'm not dealing with that. <laughs> I'm just quietly go over this way. There should be a civilian over here. She sometimes takes combat with the uh, local Bokoblins underneath her tent. Right about there. There's the tent. What am I seeing over here? Oh, there she is. Okay, yeah. It's like, am I seeing an attack? This is just, yeah. It's just seeing like the blur from him from a distance. I don't want to use. I think it's super cool. There we go. All right. Should give us an extract? Yeah. Okay. Kilton is not somebody I actually ran into for a really long time. <laughs> I think I'd like really gone into the post game before I actually saw him once. It's easiest that um, this spot up here, from what I remember. I think he's always at this spot at that time of night. So if you ever want to like run him to it for your first time, that's a good way to set it off. Might even be mandatory for the starting quest to go there for him. But now we gotta figure out how we're gonna deal with all this stuff up here. It's like they're all upgraded Lizaphos with about 150 to 200 HP. We have to get a good path down the center without enraging the wizards on our climb up or else they'll just call lightning storms and kill everybody which would be pretty bad it would mean that we wouldn't be able to climb the tower because the rain would be upon us so if if we do anger a wizard we have to kill them before they end up getting the storm are I know there's patrolling Lizaphos around here. Yeah, there's the one. They're black ones. That's actually quite a lot of HP. Let's get this chest first, I guess. Might be useful. Excuse me? <laughs> Game? You saw that, right? It just flew off. What's up with that? All right, I think we we just activated one. That's fine. Two of them. Okay. Yeah, come at me, bro. Come on. Come after me. You won't. Come on. Come on. There we go. All right. I think we use the heavy duty stuff for something like this. I'm not messing around. <laughs> Oh. Okay. So that's one. I don't want to deflect the measly water strike. Oh, you can still tag me through that. It's really annoying. Alright, come after me, come after me, come after me. Good. 
Okay. This will go through the shield anyway, so I don't need to like deflect or anything like that. Cool. Okay. So we dealt with this line here. Is there anything else in the way? If we were to go this way? Wow, that's actually pretty good. We got two of them too. Get that crap out of here. Sick. Alright. Dragon Boca Club is 24. Because it's better than the sword. Probably better than the torch, at least. It's effectively the same thing for most of our needs. Uh, it is definitely better than the sword. Okay. Yes. Okay. So we walk down here. These whiz robes patrol this area. If I could, like, cryostasis off their sight lines, maybe they won't see me. Otherwise, we're just gonna have to shoot them on top of these, which is kind of annoying. It's a fish. Should probably restore my health, too. Do I have any stealth? I do. I don't think this would make me, like, invisible to their eye. Low stealth effect, calm there in silence, footfalls, undetected. I mean, it won't help us in the water, but... Might help a little bit. I'm willing to try it. Just for the sake of not angering them. Okay. Okay. So, what we want to do is we want to wait until he circles, come up, and then cryostasis. Okay. So now his sight line is blocked. Hopefully. At least by some angle. The only issue is we also have two electric lisbos inside the water patrolling this area as well. Is there any area I can use? Oh, and it's too late. Okay, well I guess we're, we're gonna duel them then. What's our strongest bow? 26? Okay, yeah, we can do this. I think we just got the Lispos too. Please don't. Okay. Right, there's the rod. That'd be helpful. I think that's better than the one we have. Lightning rod versus lightning. No, we already have that. Okay. Oh, he didn't see us. Okay. Oh, or he did see us? Maybe? Ah, oh, he did. Okay. And we got the other one now. Okay. This has now become a battle. Stop it! Oh god, that messed up so bad. Electric resistance, it's no need to have stealth anymore. Thank you. There it is. We can't prevent it now either. From what I remember, the storm always happens, regardless of whether he actually completes it. No, okay, he does. He does actually stop. Okay. We're just gonna have to take that, that slam to the face a couple times. No, stop. Again. Oh, please stop. <laughs> I can't stop the slime. There it is, okay. Oh, we messed up. Run! <laughs> the storm's gonna come. This is gonna get real bad if we don't get out of the water. <laughs> okay. Open trap convenient. Okay. Okay. Alright, we made it out. Where is he? There he is. I'm apparently holding a bow that is electric. Okay. Alright, we got him. Does it just calm now? From what I remember, this goes on for a while, but let's see what happens. Okay, the rain 
He's going out the stars. Okay, yeah, okay. So once we kill him, the rain stops. When I did this my first playthrough, <laughs> I, uh, I just ran. I booked it. And I went up the tower because I couldn't take it anymore. I, this was the first tower I ever ran into outside of, like, coming out of the temple. So I'm, I'm running into, like, all these 300 HP and whatever enemies. I'm like, what the heck am I supposed to do? <laughs> so I just, I just booked it up top. <laughs> Alright, they didn't see me. I'm just gonna go. Quick. Okay. There's no rain. He's on the other side. All is well. Alright, so now we want to switch to our climbing gear and probably reset our stamina or add more. I don't think we need more than the rain. Just to make sure that we don't activate those guys. Because if they activate the rain, then we can't climb. Okay. Looks like we got it. I would say this is... This is definitely the hardest out of all of the... Um towers to climb I, don't, I i can't think of any that are worse than this there's like the there's the one that we did that has like the guardians around it but i just ran past those that wasn't that bad this one there's like no way to avoid the threat so you gotta you gotta deal with it oh my god Now I should be able to see that story spot on the map. Hopefully. Speaking of torrential downpours, it seems as if the rain has pretty much calmed out outside. But we had a tornado warning up until nine o'clock so i'm not like i'm not expecting the rain to stop anytime soon <laughs> okay i believe this is just the uh the glider test it's me yeah 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 this is the glider test birdman in their natural pot i'll just fly down you're a bird as a matter of fact, I am not a bird. I'm sorry. Goodbye. Okay. So we want to warp back. Let's see. Can I eyeball this? This looks about right. Could be here as well. That's like one of the cliff sides off the edge. This is definitely wrong. That's super wrong. This is too far. I'm pretty sure it's one of these two spots. I'll have to look around once I get there. Also, since we're at night, the skeletons are going to be up, so... I uh, <laughs> guess there's going to be combat this time. But we do it for the money. It is worth... Expending some minor club action for the sake of getting a diamond. Alright. Yeah, there's the skeleton remains. So we want to go right there. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Skullman large giant. Could we take him? I think we can take him. Yeah, let's do it. I have no fear. Let's go. Ouch. I assume he takes less damage on those spots. Yeah. Uh, it's a lot of HP, but okay. 
You have enough bow. Hi. Okay. It does not look like we have to hit the eye. It's just mandatory for the sake of getting him down. I'm gonna run out of all these bows, aren't we? Alright, all the uh, arrows that we have. Oh, that was a lot easy. Easier than I thought it was gonna be. Looks like this actually has quite a bit of health. No, 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 no. The eyeball's like, bring me back! <laughs> Oh, that's no. Okay. <laughs> Took his rib out to throw it as a boomerang. That's incredible. It's like, I've learned from your tricks. There's another one. What? Still, still capable of blocking my shots. Don't like it. We are actually damaging him. There we go. Okay. I'm gonna be like completely out of arrows after this. That's, but it's worth it, dang it. <laughs> I do it for the adventure. Oh yeah, got? got some Hinox tooth, sick. We got some crazy weapons, potentially. Got a flame sword. What do I wanna get rid of for that? I like having one of each element, if possible. We did use this one a bit. I guess I'm okay with it. Oh, you know what? We used this on the on the bunch of the axes and stuff. How good's the halberd? Halberd's freaking garbage. Okay. So let's get rid of the halberd. Get back the claymore. Oh no, not the claymore. The uh, broadsword. Okay. What do we run with? Let's run with a non-wood weapon. So let's go in with broadsword. Okay, back to our original plan <laughs> of hunting down diamonds. This looks about right. Is this it? Bada bing, bada boom, there it is. <laughs> Instant diamond, it's incredible. So where is this spot? It's close. Triangulate between those two treasure champs. Uh, treasure stamps and we would have had it. <laughs> right there. Okay. So that'll be good to come back to if we ever need money. Is there anything else here? There's a lot of good, uh, there's a lot of good grinding spots here, honestly, because a lot of these little pockets of, of uh, space have good resources in them. Um, each one is kind of dedicated to a different type of resource. There's some that are specific for like mushrooms and stuff. Some of them are specifically for endurance. Um, I can't think of anything that we really need. What kind of food do we have? We have pretty much everything. I mean, if we just need like base HP, I think we have enough of the uh, hard up stuff. Yeah, I have like seven radishes, that's okay. So I don't think we need to grind at all. So I might like some money. I'll just take these, I guess. Oh, he's awake. He's alive! Get out of here. <laughs> That's pretty painful. Okay, I'll take that. Thank you. I guess we'll just use this on him real quick. Okay. And then switch. Cool. 45 damage, man. That's some stuff. Should probably get a picture of these so I can track them later for the, uh, the skeleton suit once we get to Gerudo. That won't be for a while though. Pretty sure the way you grind that is to go to the Great Fairy Fountain in this area because they have like, I think there's at least like seven stones. So you could just go here too. There's a lot of, there's a lot of resources here. Let's get these here too, so we have enough money just in case we need to buy a lot of arrows. What's here? Nothing. Okay. 
think these have anything I remember just like stumbling onto that rock with the diamond in it after going through this area I don't think there's anything here oh there's something there maybe it's just the pickup rock insignia yeah pretty sure it's just telling me I could pick up the rock again all right we're done here let's get out of here there's a stable. Pretty sure right about here. This is where the area for canyon is. No, there's the bridge. The stable's right here. So this is a stable. So we'll go right here and get a horse. Try and think if there's any other things developing outside of the game. Oh god, it's raining again. Um, I guess the continued plan to do a Phoenix Wright Skype with friends has been postponed yet again because my one friend has decided to, or probably pre-planned to go to Hershey Park with his wife this weekend, so we can't. But we have it planned for next weekend. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't postpone again. I'm totally going the wrong way. Hopefully it doesn't postpone again. So that we have to skip two weeks because the week after that's going to be Mother's Day. So people are not going to be available then. I think we might be fighting a blacklist for us, maybe. Just act natural. It's like if you if you don't move, they can't see you. Except they're moving constantly. So I guess that theory is debunked. Nope, we're good. Okay. Wow, I don't remember there being this much water here. Maybe it gets more during the rain. I know there's a... There's like the shrine here and whatnot for like the lightning strike on that spot back there. But I don't remember there being that much water. I remember there being some water. It'll be interesting if it added more because of the rain. Be some... Good old realism in our gaming which i can dig that's the tower that's for hyrule yeah i don't need that so no thunder which means we are safe for our gear for now hello have this bomb cycling is so op in this game I don't know why they let you do it. Two bombs is too good. No ammo lost. I guess you got you gotta kind of expect that this game was was made for for a younger audience, not for old men like me. So. Finding ways to exploit the game and make it easier. Like they know you're gonna do it. So they're not they're not trying to make the game unbeatable and have no exploits in the game or like good strategy. But uh they expect that the younger audience might have a harder time and having them figure out those sort of things might be cool. Get these Thunderwing butterflies because you won't get them outside of the rain. <laughs> They're pretty hard to get otherwise. Actually, it would be really nice to take their picture. There's some back there. I have full album. What can we ever get rid of? Get rid of that guy. We need that one. Just get some of these out of here. I don't know if we can use the uh, these guys for the one quest, so I'm keeping them for now. I don't know if there's any quests for Yiga specifically. Actually, I don't even know if that's... That we don't need, though. Okay. Uh, all right, that should be enough space for now. Where is our butterfly? Are there any butterflies? These are all dragonflies. 
The little yellow ones don't count for anything. I might have to walk for a bit. Do I have a crane yet? I don't. Sick. Okay, keep going. Some... I guess we'll take a picture of these. Cold diner. Where are the electric diners? And why are they called darners? They're clearly dragonflies. I might have to look that up. <laughs> oh, there we go. Okay. Thunderwing dragons. Er, uh, butterfly. No. The elusive butterfly. Defying the camera. Maybe we just zoom out. Is that the secret? Holy crap. Uh, uh, nope. Gotta get closer. Come on, buddy, you got this. Just get in there. Oh my god. I don't want to get too close because I'll scare the butterfly away. Oh, this one stopped moving. Okay. I don't think that actually worked. I'm going to save it anyway. Nope. Hey, there we go. Gotcha. All right. Problem solved. <laughs> cool. We'll be able to get a few while we're here. Don't you move. Oh, there's like a lot of them here. I guess it is raining, so it makes sense. But still, it's like a whole pocket of a butterfly nation was here. Decided to powwow down in this little spot. Is it electric diner? Yes. I have two of them. Okay. I guess the cold diners are here because it's like a, it's a somewhat cold environment with like Tabitha being nearby. But. I'm not entirely sure why they don't just switch all of the diners to electric diners during the rain. Feels like it would make more sense. Oh, there he goes. We don't really need more butterflies. I'm not going to spend the entire stream hunting by butterflies. That'd be a bit excessive. So, if stamina is getting low, I guess I'll do it. <laughs> oh, there's Dinroll. I don't think we have his picture yet. I don't know if we'll make it in time. Didn't get the electric diner in time. Oh, these are butterflies. More butterflies. Less diners. Okay. So much rain. When will it end? That one's gone. I know for, um... The tower for Rito, right next to it, is the Great Fairy. I don't think we really need it yet, because we already have, like, fully upgraded armor for one set. But if I have the money, I might just do it anyway. Okay. There we go. Wow, that one's done, like, completely still easy first try. And the album is full again. Took a few butterfly pictures. I don't think we took that many. I guess we took pictures of other stuff, too. Getting sidetracked. That's what this game's all about. <laughs> yeah, I think... I think Dinroll's gone. He... I believe it is from, like, 1 p.m. to 2 p.m. I haven't grinded him in a while, so I can't quite remember. Might even be, like, 9 p.m. But he goes down between Tabitha and the Rito area. I'm lost. Yeah, you're not lost. <laughs> I know who you are. Solid nine butterflies. I mean, if they if they just present themselves to me, how can I not collect them, right? 
Sun, 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 sun coming? Or is this just more rain? Is this what more light rain looks like? Looks more like sunshine to me. There's our, there's our horse station. We can finally get chocolate back online. Use him to circumvent all the threats up until we do village. Although, we probably want to get the tower. Let's just mark that now. Eh, I think we'll be able to pull it off. Okay. Give me my horse. I still can't believe this is the first time I've had a horse with all this gear on. <laughs> I thought that quest was something I got early on and something I got in my other game. So I would have thought I would have put it on a horse, but apparently I just missed it. <laughs> it seems absurd to me. It looks really cool. Alright, so this is, uh, this is the... Um, the spot where the guardians will patrol from what I remember. Up at this little section here. It's the one with flying ones. If I'm feeling dangerous, I might take their picture. But I think we're just gonna try and circumvent them entirely. He's gonna patrol around that rock a bit. Just try and get out of the cycle for where he's looking. Okay, I think we're safe. Alright. Put on the gas. And the horse should be able to autopilot its way to victory. Sick. Alright, we got it. Now let's go for the tower. Looks like it's just up this walkway here, and then we go up and just climb it. I don't remember this one, so I'm assuming that there is not as many enemies here. This guy over. Bam! It's <laughs> looking at the, the plant. It's cute. Oh god. I could turn a little sharper than that thing. I gotta go. I gotta go, man. I'm gonna get you attacked. Alright, we might have to deal with these guys. I think, yeah, okay. Hold it. We gotta kill them. No, 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 you didn't see anything. That's fine. Totally fine. We are so short in arrows. I think we're just gonna try and snipe them. This is why we like having this bow. Gotcha. <laughs> it's so overpowered. Why'd they even make a bit like that? <laughs> There's no area for me to, like, really take advantage of them. But we have to go through this spot. Do we have to go through this spot? I guess I could just climb. Is there any reason for me to go through here? Let's see if there's a walkway without having to engage them. There is. Okay, so we're gonna kill him. I can't... Oh, I can freeze them, actually. We have one. Let's see. Oh, one cell. Alright. Nice rod, no. <laughs> Did he just try and kill my horse? No. Okay. <laughs> I would have totally gunned it for him if he did. <laughs> He's just chilling. Quite literally. Bam. <laughs> Feels like post game. Okay. That wasn't too bad.
There's some arrows from the one we killed. I think we can get rid of the rod for the try. No, it's not a try, it's just a forked, okay. Alright. Away we go. It's a rock! Good horse, go around it. <laughs> I hear an enemy. Oh! No. Don't you throw this at my horse. <laughs> That's not okay. Looks like this might be another enemy spot. I mean, we did just have a rock. Okay. You wait here, or I'll just kill them all. Don't turn around, it's fine. Don't do any... Ah, okay. Probably want to disarm you. That looks dangerous. Gotcha. <laughs> Can't grab your weapon now, now can you? I think we'll take that since we just used all that. Nice. Alright. Uh, what the heck is that? Holy crap. No, thank you. Are we there? I guess we're basically there. We can climb up. Where's my horse? Ah, there's the uh, there's the ferry. You can see it. Just so I remember. Sick. All right. Pretty sure there's enough flat surfaces for me to just do this. Sick. Okay, so it's just like covered in some goop and stuff, that's all this was. That's probably why I don't remember it. <laughs> that's easy. Is there a lot of goop? Well, there's a sizable amount of goop. There's no place to grab onto from this side. So maybe we have to go from here? Is that the trick? Looks kind of like it. Pemantha. See, I thought the cold area was Tabitha. Maybe I was wrong this whole time. This looks a little bit hard to go up, but it does look like it does a reasonable amount of damage to a climb. So we're gonna jump it. Okay. That's not too bad. That's fine. Okay. I should be able to get to the rest of the way here. Oh. Okay. Made it. That wasn't too bad. I think that this was probably like the second tower outside of the Grey Plateau oh, we're cold. that we got in this game. No longer cold. can see through right there where that shrine is. That's where we do are. It's not too far of a walk from here. Better off with a horse though. Yeah, not too far. Oh, 
Look at Link's little red nose being so cold. <laughs> it's cute. Let's see. We have... There's the fairy. Okay. I don't think we have the money, but I'm going to check. And as I think I mentioned, you can see in front of the fairy, there's a set of rocks here. All of those are luminous stones, so if you're ever luminous stone grinding, it's a good place to go. Get like an easy five or something from there. And then there's a there's another spot down near where the uh, fossil place is in this region where you can get more. I think maybe like a dozen or so. A thousand. Yeah, okay. I have a thousand, sure. <laughs> Truly tragic indeed. Apparently it's getting close to night since we're already starting to glow a bit. Alright. Got eight of them. That should be fine. Okay, let's go on top of the tower, get our horse back, and go back to Rito Village. All right, it looks like the rain is finally done. I don't think I need to, like, adjust game volume at all. If you... I see there's, like, one viewer. <laughs> if you can't hear the game, or if you think that I'm too loud, just let me know. I have the controls, like, right in front of me. So I can totally do that. But we're looking for a horse. Horse got him. Okay, so we want to go down the hill and then there's a road. We already killed all the enemies in our way, so that should not be a deal that we have to go through. Yep, we're good. Okay. Actually, there's a, a means to cook food. Now the rain stopped. Let's see what we can do. Wanted to get like... Oh, <laughs> can't do that in midair apparently. Wanted to... Get a few more of these. <laughs> yep. Actually, these are basically the same thing, huh? Might as well. Plus four. Okay, that's enough. Down the mountain, head down the road. Get where we gotta go. There's this guy inspecting the radish again. No, 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 you wanna keep going. Go. Alright, where are we going? Going straight. Yep, right this way. And then we go left. And then we go straight, and we get. All right, should be a pretty easy ride from here. During my first playthrough, I remember reaching this spot, <laughs> and I'm pretty sure there is a. Uh, a large rock creature that's going to block our way in a couple of seconds. We have no bow. No arrows, that is. So I can't really confront him. So I'm going to have to run. Yeah, he's right in front of me right now. This rock right here. Say hello. Goodbye. <laughs> yep, there's the music. Way past that guy right now. Why do you want to deviate your path so much, horse? There you go. Yeah. 
steady as she goes. Yeah, the horse does not want to go fast along this. <laughs> Scenic shots. Oh, you're fine. Okay, there should be a couple more ambushes here, which we will completely ignore. This being one of them. Goodbye. Here's another. Gotcha. Uh oh, no, 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 no. No, don't hurt the horse. <laughs> oh. He's got some legs on him. And there's our next stable. Which I guess we could probably visit Beetle here. So it seems like a worthwhile stop. Get some arrows. And there's Gus. What a convenient stopping spot for that horse. I'm good. I've heard it a few times. There's Beale. Wake up. You got the energetic rhino thing? Yep. Fairy tonic? Yeah, sure. That's good trade. Hey, there we go. We're gonna need to saw some stuff for this. I'm gonna keep the diamond for now. Oh, we got two. Yikes. Uh, I'm gonna keep the diamond for now just because they're much harder to come by than luminous stones. Let's just go for all the luminous. Give us plenty of money. Thank you, sir. I might need to use them for the uh, the clothing once we get there. Not feeling social. <laughs> We're literally right at a destination. We gotta go. Although I think, oh, this is the quest. That curry rice with that Goron spice. Right. Onward. This should be a cutscene. <laughs> little wave. I think that's more of a, oh my god, I'm gonna get run over by a horse. A little actual wave. Does he actually know the rain? I, I don't know if I have to steer my horse right now. I'm pretty sure I do. Yeah, I do. He doesn't know. Alright. Where's my cutscene? Give me my cutscene. There it is. <laughs> I thought that was the horse winning. It's like, wow, the horse is completely terrified. What happened? That's not a horse. That's a giant bird. This is probably the dungeon I'm most excited to play again, because it was the first one I did and I didn't realize that the garden had actual controls until late in the dungeon. <laughs> so it'll be a very different experience this time. Actually, we probably want to get people's names, huh? Yep, Rito Village. Okay. Okay, we want to go up to get the shrine will give us our HP back as well as another heart container. Also might like to get the armor while we're here. This armory? Yeah it is. Okay. 
Six hundred. Okay, it's the same as the other ones. We can use our diamonds here. I'll get us two of them. The other one's two thousand, though. It should still be enough. We just we don't go for the we don't go for the shirt if possible. Okay, it's only a thousand. We can we can afford this. We can get all of it. Let's see. Monster parts are usually pretty safe when it comes to money. Yeah, it's like a solid 15 will be fine. 180. Get the bow cobble and stuff. Give me like 28 of these. Okay, we need 300 more. That's... If we need 300 more, then we need to get three apiece. We are not going to get enough from these, but I can at least go for 25. 75 Okay, so now I only need 200 more. 10 apiece. Be all 20 of them. Five apiece. Wow, that's actually pretty good. So if we need exactly 200, that's 100, which means we need to do 40. Let's just do 20 of these. So now we need... 90. <laughs> uh, that's pretty valuable. Let's see. I'll overshoot a bit and do a ruby. Give us some change just in case we need to buy some arrows at some point. Alright, now I got the full set. Something like that. This is probably my favorite looking outfit out of all of them. It looks really fresh and stylized. The only thing I think they could have maybe done is with this uh, with this feather kind of thing. I kind of wish they put one on the other side on the other side too to make it look symmetrical. It doesn't really bother me that much, but uh, it would have been nice to have a hairpin on both sides. All right, now I can do the shrine. There we go. Found it. Okay. Looks like this is a wind. Yeah. Oh, wow, this one. Okay, I haven't done this one in a while. Hmm. What's the goal here? So, like a plaque telling me what I need to do? I assume we need to get all of them around. There's no note or anything, but that does seem to be the obvious goal. It also looks like there's an area behind here? What is this? What is this? I don't understand. Is there something on the other side? Okay, here we go. Chest, wind, sure. That was an iron. Okay. That will be good later. So we have to get all of these little things to turn. 
means we need wind to blow at all of them. We switch one of these little yellow thing or orange things here. It'll turn the fan into another direction. I guess we'll just use this one. As you can see, it moves over this way. So we have to think about ways in which we can only get the wind to move by using a particular fan. Because that'll narrow down by process of elimination what fan has to turn what direction. In this case, this fan is only capable of getting those three and the three next to it. So we need to figure out if there's any fan that cannot get one of these. Looks like we can get all of them. Yeah, actually, I can, I can see a way. We'll move this one down. So now this one gets all these. Oh, this fan blocks that. I thought it would just go through. That'd be strong enough. Guess not. Okay, so then I do not see. I need to look again. I was thinking that I would be able to get it to go through the whole way and then just send them all down. But it looks like that is not the case. So that means that the only way to get this one to move is by having this in its original position. So this fan has to go the other way. It's gonna be a bit of a, a bit of a move though. All right. So now we're back in our rightful spot. We need to get a fan to hit all of these on the sides. The only way to do that is by moving this one over because a fan will have to hit this. There we go. I feel like this is still wrong though. Because this is only one on one? Where's the value in that? <laughs> anyway, let's let's go back up and see where we are. Okay. So we got that one because it was the only way we could. We have one fan that is doing nothing right now, so that one's gonna probably need to move over to the other way. And then, yeah, this feels wrong. I guess one mechanic that might be a thing is that the fans can blow in through each other. So if I move the ones in the same direction, they'll continue to blow because the fan will go through them. But it looks like they have a sealed back, so I don't know if that's actually the case. If I go... I at least see two moves that I want to do, so let's let's do those first. Alright, so that's to actually make the fan do something. And then we want this one to turn the other way, because it is not currently doing anything. <laughs> Ow. Maybe should have thought about the physics a bit more. Okay, so that's happening. That's all. All well and good. What are we missing? We currently have... Four fans missing. We have the availability to move one fan. What if we move the fans in a circle? And send the gusts through each other? 
I don't think it works that way, but it'd be interesting if it did. Fan goes there. If I move the middle fan, it goes to pretty no, much no much no better use. I feel. I feel like there's a mechanic we must be missing off of something like this. <laughs> there's also the option we could just figure out how to fly away over all of this if there is a way to get the gust to get us that high, but I'd like to actually remember what the puzzle solution is instead of like stacking metal on top of each other and trying to get it that way. <laughs> Seems like a little cheap. If we wanted to get the fans with the most amount at once, I would switch the one in front of us to go up front again. I'd switch this fan to get these three. I'd switch that fan to get those two or the other two. I'd switch this one to get those two. But then there's the question of like the middle ones. How do we get the middle ones to turn in an efficient manner? I could move this one down. These, these ones can only be hit by that fan. So I guess this fan has to go that way. That was not the way I intended to go. Yeah. Remove this fan. So let me go the other way. Okay, so that fan's taking care of the fans that I can only do. That's good. What are we missing now? I'm really only missing those three now, huh? Those three. The only way I could get those three to go at once is with this fan. Then I have to change this fan as well. Are we already accounting for the other two? Oh, we are. So this fan's free. The one that's over there is completely free. So I can actually move this one to face that way. And then move this one to face that way. I think we just kind of stumbled into it, but we got it. Yeah. All right. There you go. We figured it out. Maybe not with too much cunning and thought, but we got it. Alright, so now we can upgrade our... Should probably activate the quest for this area before I fly all the way down to the bottom of the stairs. It seems like it would be a good idea. So I will go chat with the head guy first. And it's sunny out. It's currently noon. <laughs> so we basically spent like the whole night down there. That's kind of crazy. Uh, okay, yeah, there's a, there is a Rito down there. This is the one we want to talk to. He doesn't believe. He doesn't believe in a hundred year old men. They don't exist. Fine tip. Alright. It's a flashback time.
impressive, I know. Very few can achieve a mastery of the sky. Yet I have made an art of creating an updraft that allows me to soar. It's considered to be quite the masterpiece of aerial techniques, even among the Rito. With proper utilization of my superior skills, I see no reason why we couldn't easily dispense with Garen. Now then, my ability to explore the firmament is certainly of note. But let's not, pardon me for being so blunt, let's not forget the fact that I am the most skilled archer of all the Rito. Yet despite these truths, it seems that I've been tapped to merely assist you. All because you happen to have that little darkness ceiling sword on your back. I mean, it's just asinine. Unless you think you can prove me wrong, maybe we should just settle this one-on-one. -on -one. But where? Oh, I know. How about up there? That seems fair. <laughs> oh, you must pardon me. I forgot you have no way of making it up to that divine yeah. beast on your own. He's definitely my least favorite champion. <laughs> Not the nicest of guys. Talk to her again out of feeling bad for her. I know that's that's weird, but you freak someone out because you're staring out in this space. You feel kind of obligated to make them less weirded out. <laughs> oh, here we go. Oh, this one. That one is going to take a while to get to. Oh. Oh. Right. Change that to a star and we'll be on our way down. You're already at the bottom? That was easy. <laughs> Alright. Give me my heart piece. No, not the... <laughs> not the that. I want the Master Sword. Give me Master Sword. I don't think we have enough yet. I think we can get it after we get this Divine Beast or another Four Shrines, but we're, we're not going to grind that, so... That ain't happening. Open bed. There's food here. I don't think there's anything we need though. Oh, we'll we'll probably need bombers at some point. I definitely want this. Can I take them all? Thank you. Arrows are always appreciated. Okay, so now I go to the flight range. Once we get all the way back up again. I'm pretty sure I know where it is. Ah, there it is. Okay. I was like, where is the spot I jump off from? <laughs> this does not make any sense. Okay, so we want to go to the flight range. That is right there. Okay. Just for reference. There you go. Alright. Should have enough stamina to be able to get from there off of this rock. 
There's going to be some ice enemies potentially being mean to us on our walk over, but we have fire arrows we, and a fire sword. We should be fine. It's interesting because uh, when I did my first playthrough, I had uh, I basically got freaked out by this area, thinking that when we went up to the Divine Beast, it was going to be super cold. So I like I hard grinded to like prepare myself for some like super harsh environment, and then the Divine Beast ended up being super easy. So I don't know. <laughs> they psych you out with all this crazy hard stuff in this area, and then they're like, "Be prepared," and then it's all easy. Freaking moblins on horses. Freaking ice guys. These guys are crazy. Here they come. Oh, I guess that's some friendly fire. Can we come on now? Okay. We'll go for the spiked. Oh, your friend is frozen. Ouch. It's okay. I think that one is a, uh... I think that's a, a test of strength over there. Not entirely sure. Alright. Friend is still frozen. Oh, the Empress. Okay. Let me just disarm you real quick. Nope. Oh, okay. There we go. <laughs> That's more like it. Disarm you again. Yep. <laughs> Efficient. Well, I see you over there. Could get a horse, but we need a stable, right? I don't even know how you get to a stable from this spot. Guess it's not that far. I believe if this is this pass, yeah, there's there's a stable past this spot, but that's quite the walk. We already have a, a horse of this power anyway. Okay, got the shrine. I think we'll probably end with this today. This shrine will be it, and then that will be the end of the stream. Give us some time to prepare for the Divine Beast, if need be. I don't think there's anything other than, like, getting bomb arrows, though. Oh, this one. This one's actually kind of fun. I think that is the one I remember. Oh, hello. It's an awfully precarious spot for you to be a friend. There's our there's our guardian sword. Goodbye. Okay. Nice. Hitting platform, which we now missed. Okay. Is that literally just it? Oh no, we're not done yet. Okay. I thought there was a trick to this later. I, I remember this one taking a little while for me. And I'm pretty sure I know why. It's this spot here. There is a, a sneaky, sneaky trick here. Gotta go around the back. <laughs> oh, did I miss it? Yeah, I missed it. Okay. Take two. 
could go around the other way. Yeah, I think we're faster that way. That took me forever to figure out. <laughs> I thought there was like some kind of trick to climb up it for so long. to the flight range and then we'll save and that'll be it for today. Ooh. And then next week, oh, what I want to do Monday. My brother got me um, a game, Dragon Marked for Death, for my birthday. But I haven't played it, so I might want to do that on Monday. I feel like I'm kind of like obligated, you know? <laughs> Since it does look like a pretty good game. And I'm reasonably good at platformers, so... Oh, I guess reasonably good is, is probably an understatement. I'm pretty dang good at platformers, but... Uh, I have to really be in the mood for it. Okay. That'll be it. Let's see. I should just get us into a good camera position. So, yeah. Next week... I'm thinking Monday we will do either Hearthstone or we will do Dragon Marked for Death. And then Tuesday. I think that's the day when Overwatch loot boxes reset. So I might do a bit of a like a, a deathmatch stream that day. I also kinda wanna look like look into the PTR changes that they put up. They they put in a uh, a thing called the the workshop into Overwatch PTR a couple of days ago, where you can make like super experimental modes. I haven't actually delved into it at all, so it'll be kind of interesting to see what they can do in there and what I can do in there. Uh, I've I've seen the footage of some of the modes that have been created. It's been kind of interesting, but um, my code is not super great, so I'm not expecting that to be like super in depth. Um, Probably just like a couple if then statements that might be kind of interesting, that's about it. Um, as far as Wednesday, that is always Hearthstone, so we'll do the Tavern Brawl that day. Thursday, I'm thinking I might want to go back to Wargroove, but I'm not sure. And Friday will be Breath of the Wild, guaranteed. Um, if I feel like it, I might do Breath of the Wild on, again on another day, just to keep this moving along, but we're making a pretty good pace. Um, I'll probably get done Rito by the end of this next stream, definitely. And I think I could do Gerudo maybe in two streams after that. Gerudo takes the longest out of all of them, because the area is the hardest to get through. Um, but I think we could definitely do that in like two streams at longest. And then Ganon might take like a little bit of grinding, but not too much. Really just getting the Master Sword is all it would take, and I think we can get it guaranteed after Grudo at that point. Anyway, that is it for me today. I will see you on Monday.